This is Andrew Sheaf with Mastering Flow. I help triathletes identify the critical skills for fast swimming, and I provide them with the tools to learn those skills in any location. We're back with another quick fix, this time focused on head position. How you hold your head while you swim can make a big difference. Too high or too low can negatively impact your alignment in the water. Too high or too low can negatively impact your ability to breathe easily. Get your head position wrong, and it can make swimming a lot harder and a lot slower. Now, I have an admission to make. I actually don't know what head position is going to be best for you. It's not as simple as do more or do less. It can be different for different individuals. That's because everybody has a different shape and a different structure. It can be really messy. However, while I might not know what's best for you, I do know how to help you find out. Try this exercise. With elevator swim, you're starting with a very high head position and slowly lowering your head to a very low position. Notice how the hips of the demonstrators begin to rise in the water as their head lowers. This is a critical relationship to understand and one you should be able to feel when performing the exercise. The goal is to learn to sense and feel this relationship as well as establish what head position is going to serve you best that allows you to achieve the most streamlined position in the water. Take the elevator up and take the elevator down. Pay attention to what's happening when you go up and when you go down. It's not just about moving the head, it's about moving the chest as well. It should feel like you're pressing into your lungs as you lower the head and taking the pressure off your lungs as you raise the head. If you can't feel your lungs, do this exercise first. The ball float is the simplest float and all swimmers should be able to accomplish it. Simply take a big breath, squeeze tight, and patiently wait for yourself to settle in the water. If you're concerned about becoming uncomfortable, simply perform the float in shallow water so that you can stand up as necessary. If you find a position that you think might work, do a couple laps using that position. Here's how to know if that's a good change and here's what to look for. Does this position allow me to swim faster? Can I take fewer strokes? Is it easier? An affirmative answer to any of those questions is a great sign that you've made a good change. Do some exploring and you'll figure it out sooner than later. Want to know how to fix an issue that you're working through? Put it in the comments below and I'll be sure to add it to the list. For a free eight week technical training program, check out the link in the video description below. Be sure to subscribe to get notified whenever there's more information on this channel.